Hello everyone, welcome to API Codo. In this tutorial, we will learn how to add in, import and export functionality to Django admin panel. The Django import export library, this will allow us to easily manage data in the various formats such as a CSV, CSV, Excel, and the more. So now I'm just going to show you the, an overview of this project that I have created a Django import export library. So now I have a one object in my vlog. So vlog is my word models is my data. So now I'll just import. So first I'll just choose a file that which I want to which data I want to import. And I'm just here I'm just importing my vlog, vlog data. I have a, some vlog data in the CSV format. So I'll just click it and select. And automatically it is choosing the format that I'm uh, importing a CSV format. So it is already detecting that the CS format. So now we will just submit. So you can see that there is a four models. There is a four data which is importing from my CSV file. Okay, now I'll just confirm import. So here you can see there is there is a five blocks before there was a one. So now you can see there is a four blocks. Okay, now I will just export this data. So I'll just go in export. And here is a format. Here is a format in which format you want to export. So here is a CSV format, XLS format, XLS format, TSV format, ODS format, and JSON format yml and html format so choose according to your need if you want to import in html so you can just export in html in tsv so here I'm, i will just import in a csv format export sorry export in a csv format as assignment so here is asking that in which file that you want to save which name you want to give it so here i will just simply give a name uh, two four five simply i'm here just i'm giving a name and my location is that video picture and i will just save so my csv format is saved so here you can see that i'm just going to open in in the libra office calc so guys here you can see that my data is exported from the django admin panel okay successfully exported from the django admin panel So guys, here is a, some previous side of this video that you should have you should have a Django application already installed in our system and some models to work with. So here is my models. Oh, I'm just going to tell you my models name is a vlog, title, description and video URL. So you should have a, one models to work with. And now what we have to do, we have to just configure our Django project okay we need to configure our Django project to use Django import export library okay so here are the steps so first we have to just go in go in the project directory in the project directory we have to just select the setting.py file in the setting.py file we have to go in an installed apt list and here we have to add import export here we have to add we have to configure import export so here i have just imported export and export control s now what we have to do we have to just create our resources for our models to define how your models should be imported and exported so now we have to just create our resources classes in a separate file and let's name it file resources.py file so i will just go in app my app directory so my app directory is the api this is my app in the app directory we have to create a file and i'll just name it resources r e s o u r c e s dot p y resources dot p y file in the resources dot p y file we have to import we have to import export resources okay so from 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 import export from import export import resources and now we have to import our models okay so first what i'll just i'll just import my models here so from models dot import your model so your model is uh, is whatever you have a name of your model so make sure you replace with your actual models okay so my model name is vlog resource vlog you can see that my model name is a vlog so i will write here vlog okay so make sure to replace with this otherwise we will get an error okay 
and now we have to just create a classes we have to place as a class and uh, we will just let me do this i'll just go and paste here model class model class meta model and here my model name is vlog so I'll just copy and paste here vlog okay so here is that your model so we have to replace with vlog model okay and I'll just copy and paste here vlog models and now what we have to do we have to register our model with a custom admin panel in admin.py in admin.py file we have to register our model using custom admin class and we have to derive the from import export admin be sure to import your model resources you created earlier okay so now i'm um, just i will just go in admin.py file in the admin.py file we will import import from import export dot admin import export import models okay so from dot models import block so make sure you guys you have to import here your vlog models okay and now from dot resources so here is my resources.py file so from dot resources import vlog resources okay so here is my resources.py file okay and here i have just called the vlog resources and here i have just created a class we have register our admin and the class vlog admin import export admin okay now we have to just control s control s so so with this step with this step with this complete setup so you can now use import and export functionality in the django admin panel for that we have to export the data we have to just go in add in panel for your model select the record which you want to export and from the action drop down menu choose the export export so what i'll just go and i will just test this i'll just go in my cd a vlog project and i'll just run the server to check that the installation of the setups is uh, working or not what vlog from dot resources import vlog resources so what error I'm getting in admin.py file line 4 vlog resources in resources.py file and the So guys, we have to just go in a resources.py file import from this port is already in use. Okay. And the resources.py file from import export import the resources from dot model import the vlog. So we have to just so make sure from the correction of word and write carefully which word you are writing. And now we have an admin panel. Admin.py file, we have successfully re registered admin.py file. In the setting.py file, we have import and export and the model.py. Here is my models to work with the import and export. I'll just go on the terminal. I'll just cd, get a directory, or run the server. And I'll just follow this link. I'll just go in a admin.py file. So guys, to access the admin.py file, you have to create a super user. To create a super user, simply you have to just go in a terminal. You have to just go in a terminal and type here simply a python -.py make my uh, make migration and migrate. And after that, you would be able to create a super user. To create a super user, you have to install python -.py file python manager py create super user and hit enter and you can give a username email id 
so like this you can just you would be able to create a use super user so here i i am um, accessing successfully accessing iron panel i'll just go in a vlog model so here you can see that it is a import and export okay so like this you will be able to import export so you can see that if you want to import so you can just uh, choose the format which you want to import so in this tutorial we have added import and export the functionality to use Django admin panel and using this import and export library this will allow easily manage data in the various formats making it powerful tool for data management in the Django. I hope you like this video please hit the like button and make subscribe. Thank you for watching this video.